Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explore the Dartpad. Dartpad is basically the excellent online tool that comes from the Google, which helps you to run your Dart application in any web browser. In order to get the Dartpad, simply you have to visit the website called dartpad.dev. But before jumping into that, let me tell you some of the important ideas that we should know. These are the Android Studio, Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ IDEA. And Visual Studio Code is one of my favorite that I will be using for the Flutter application series. But make sure in the Dart series, I won't be touching this Visual Studio Code. I will simply go with this Dart pad because it's one of my favorite for Dart practices. There are some other IDs, but these are not so famous. These are Emac, Eclipse and Vim. Now let's jump into the Dart pad. In order to get the dartpad, simply open any web browser and just type the dartpad.dev. So this gives you the dartpad. This is the default application that comes from the dartpad. Now let's examine each of the section in this dartpad. This new dartpad link will help you to open the new dartpad. So if you click it, it will ask you whether you really want to open or not. Let's say if I click on OK, then it will ask me. For what purpose I want to use the Dartpad, whether I'm using for the Dart application development or for using the Flutter application development. The difference here is, if I'm using for the Dart, in this case, there is no Geo activities for me. But on other hand, if I go with the Flutter application development, so I will get the Geo output and I can go for creating the Flutter application. Uh, for this example, uh, I'm restricting myself for only the Dart application. Let's click on the create. This will create the new Dart pod for me, you can see. I got the new dartpad. This reset button will help you to reset your dartpad to your initial stage. Format link uh, is used when you want to format your code uh, according to the dart specification. Hey, let's understand. I'm just missing my code. My code is not in a proper format. Now, if I want to format this one as per the dart specification, simply click on this format button and here we go. You can see my code is properly formatted as per the dart specification. Then this particular thing that is install SDK is a link uh, that enables you to download the Dart SDK. This thing is called uh, the title or you can say the ID of your application. The sample link will help you to get some of the sample Flutter applications. These are actually the uh, famous Flutter applications. We'll come back to this portion in a moment. Uh, these three dots will help you to get some of the important links, the links to share your application. Uh, it will give you, the second link will give you uh, the Dart pad on GitHub. The Dart.dev uh, link is the link for your Dart official website and Flutter.dev is the link for your Flutter official website. Now, let's examine the other part. This particular portion you are seeing, this is called the editor window where you can edit your Dart code. The run button will help you to execute your code. Simply click on this one and you can see you will get the output here. The console portion is a portion where you will get your uh, Dart output. Basically, in case of Flutter, it won't be a console. There will be a UI output here. Okay, and console will go on this bottom side. Documentation part gives you the documentation regarding your code. Let's say if I want to get information about print, then I can simply click on the print function. The documentation part is giving me the help regarding this print function. If I click the mouse on int, then it gives me simple information regarding the int keyword or int data type in the Dart. At the bottom, you can see there is an option called stable channel using which I can select what channel I want to use. So there are options called stable channel, the beta channel and the old channel. I prefer to go with the stable channel. The place where you are getting the no issues, your dart pad will show the compile time issues here. Let's say I just remove the semicolon. Now you can see instantly it is showing me one issue that is it is showing me error that in line number three, the semicolon is expected. and Let's say I got some variable, let's say I'm writing here var x and or let's pass some value var x is equal to 10. Now you can see it is showing me the error in line number 4 and in line number 2 it is showing me information. So I hope it's clear for you guys that the dart pad can show the information that is the thing. Uh, information is a kind of suggestion from the dart pad so it says that there is a suggestion at line number 2 and in line number 4 you are getting the errors. So if you don't want to get all these things, you can just simply click on this hide button. But make sure that hiding this one don't solve your problem. Okay, it is a thing only that the dart pad, you have stopped the dart pad showing this one. If you click uh, on the show button, it will show you back uh, all the problems to, to you guys. 
Now, if I want to reset, I can simply click on reset and click OK. It will reset to my initial dart pad status. This will show what Flutter version you are using and this thing will show what dart version this dart pad is currently using. This I button will show you the list of libraries that can be directly imported in this dart pad. I know as a beginner, it might be hard for you to understand what is this libraries and all these things. But make sure in my upcoming videos, I will explain this thing in detail. What do you mean by importing this library directly in the Dartpad? Now it's time to talk about the Flutter application in the Dartpad. So you can run Flutter application in the Dartpad. Simply click on any of the application. We, um, I will go with counter application here. Counter application is a default application that you will get when you create your first Flutter application. Now you can see I have got this counter application and this is what the code of counter application okay don't uh, worry about this code okay we'll understand this in our flutter series and when i click on the run you can see i will get this kind of output this is the app bar and this is the floating action button if i click it here it will show me how many times i have pushed this button now in this case this particular portion is called a ui okay this right hand side portion is called a ui and your console and documentation will go at the uh, bottom right of your dart pad that's it for this video. If you really found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get my latest videos.